Good afternoon, this is uh, David Soto talking to you and today I want to talk to you about trend lines and support and resistance levels, okay? And mainly I want to go over trend lines and how they correlate with the market and also uh, with my new Excalibur trend indicator. But more importantly, I want to show you how to find trend lines without any indicator whatsoever, okay? Now, I'm, later in this video I'm going to show you my Excalibur, Excalibur trend indicator and how it kind of correlates but really you could trade with nothing okay just a naked chart no indicators at all and I want to show you you know mathematically or scientifically how this Forex market works and how everything is structured okay so that we can give ourselves a good understanding of the Forex market and how it works so to begin with we need to find trend lines okay and how we do this is find a high point or low point for that matter where the price is up and then it's, it's slowly coming down all right now I picked this one here for example this is just pound USD on a four hour chart okay we want to try to stick with like a four hour or daily even a weekly because it's going to give us the overall big picture of the trend okay the four hour to me the four hour chart is pretty ideal for this okay finding trends and if we see here we have a downtrend I'm sure you can see it already but I'm going to go ahead and draw a trend line if you come over here on the toolbar and click on trend line right and then come to this high point okay? this is a high point and we'll come down to a low point here okay now I'm going to show you this real quick. Now, whenever you draw a trend line, you need at least three points of connection to the trend line to form a solid trend line. Okay. Now here we have one, two, three, and really four. Okay. You can't count this one 100%, but it's very close. So if it's if it's like almost touching the trend line, that's that's okay. Or if it breaks the trend line just a little bit, that's okay also. Because it's not going to be perfect, but, you know, as close to perfect as possible. Okay, when finding a trend line. Okay. So, in this case, we see we're in a downtrend. Okay. The price has been going up and down, but overall, the price has been going down, right? Now, where, where does it end? Okay where will it keep on going down you know eventually it's going to go up again okay we know this all right the forex market is up and down all the time and eventually there's going to be a new uptrend okay so how can we figure this out well to figure out you know where a trend ends we need to also look at support resistance levels okay now we have high points and we have low points in the market right <clears throat> We kind of know this already, right? Even if you're a newbie, you can look at these charts and say, okay, the price came up to here, the price came down to here, we know there's a low point down here, there's a high point up here, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? You can, you can look at any chart in any market, stock market, forex market, whatever, you can see the same type of uh, scenario, right? So in this example here, we see the price that come all the way down here. And this is what we call a support. All right. I mean, this is the final bottom. This is the final resting place. And a support, there's support and resistances. And how we can remember these is if you think of a house, for example. All right. The ground level is your support. All right. Everything else is built upon. All right. And then you have the roof or the ceiling in your house. And that is your resistance okay but one thing to note is that houses can also have basements meaning that your support level could actually go another level down and also your ceiling in your house you could have a second level and a third level in your house right so just because we have a ceiling doesn't mean there's not another level above okay so 
whenever we have support and resistances in the Forex market, those get broken all the time. You'll have a level of resistance, and then at some point, the price will shoot through it, and it'll go to another level, okay? And when that happens, that level of resistance that it broke is now what's called a support. Because if you think about it, if you have a two-story house, and you go to the second level of your house, all right, you have a floor that you can walk around on, right? And that also is a support so you have like two different support levels and you have two different resistance the only thing is when the price shoots through the you know the the, re, the resistance and forms a new support we don't know where the next level of resistance is going to be yet okay but i'm going to show you some things that kind of give you some ideas all right on how you can help predict the future and what's going to happen so if we look down here i'm going to draw a horizontal line okay i'm going to draw a horizontal line right down here okay this is your support okay we know this for a fact now the price here shot up and formed a level of resistance all right and came down a little bit had another level of support here and this is kind of like your range, if you will, between the level of support and resistance. This is like your second floor, kind of. All right. But we want to, we, when it, when the price comes up, we're looking for another level of resistance. Okay. So we came up here and came back down. So we know that this is a level of resistance. Right. So we can draw a horizontal line here. Okay. So between here and there, we have a range. We have a support and resistance, all right? Now, once the price shoots up above this resistance, this now becomes a support, right? And we wait till we get a high point like this, okay? And we see the price coming back down. When we see this, we know that this is a level of re a new level of resistance okay I'm gonna draw another line here okay so now we have these a uh, uh, first level second level and the spaces are almost the same right and the price comes down it's going to not always okay because I don't want I don't want to say always because you hold me to it, but the forex market is not perfect. But generally, you, your price is going to come down and bounce off of this uh, level of support, off this new level of support, and bounce back up again. So when you have a price coming down off of this, right, you can set a buy limit pending order a little bit above this uh, support level okay and the reason being you can do about 100 points or so above because it doesn't always go to exactly down to the support level and you already see that right here right so and actually even though this is a resistance and it was broken we actually see this price here 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 all right so we actually see a support level here but we at this point we do we would not know okay but you can set a buy limit pin order like I said and wait for the price to go back up all right and catch pips that way now I could draw you know I could draw a line here and make that your support level which actually lines up perfect with these levels of resistance here okay and like I said before when a level of resistance is broken then it now forms a support and it's very evident that the price bounced off of this so this in fact is a very very solid level of support and resistance all right right now it's a level of support so bounced up again here then 
it came back up and broke through all right and whenever we have a price that breaks through a support or resistance by, mm, by at least 50 points okay I'm gonna say at least 50 points then we have a clear change in trend okay 50 points is not much but this is on a four hour but okay let's say 100 points well anyways at least 50 points right we know that it's going to be going up 100 points is okay all right so anyhow the price is broken through and it's continued to go up now where do we you know close the price well we don't know but we can look in the past and kind of get an idea if I zoom out a little bit this is where we're talking about okay or right in here rather so we have this level of resistance that it hit before so we could draw a line here and when the price shoots up through here we can set our take profit you know about here maybe just a little bit below and catch a decent amount of pips so if we draw from like here where the price is right now up to just under this uh, yellow line here that's 780 pips so you could get you know at least 500 pips easily off of this off this one trade all right and you know you can wait till it comes up to that that line right here and then close the trade and then if it bounces off of it then what we do is instead of placing a sell trade place a buy limit in case it keeps shooting up because I hate to place a sell trade and then shoot up and then I have a lot of drawdown all right I place a buy limit anticipating that it's going to come back down again and if it doesn't then I, no harm done and if it breaks this trend line and keeps going up I place another buy trade all right and wait for another level of resistance which you can see is right here okay and I can set a take profit up here all right just a little bit under here and anticipation that's gonna hit that all right and then it broke again all right and I can set a take profit at another level which is right here okay so do you see what I'm doing all right and I would set the take profit a little bit lower than this yellow line but I'm looking at the past I'm looking in the past to see what's going to happen in the future all right now this one it broke again but it didn't go up very much did it so if it goes up like that and comes back down I could just close the trade and take a little loss if I want all right no problem so if I you know if I take a loss here it's not much but then what I can do is see the price come back down and then place a sell trade okay and wait for it to um, come back down <clears throat> but looking at the past we can tell that this is a very very high point in the market okay <clears throat> so we can bet that this is probably not going to go up too much further okay now if I look in the past back here let me turn off that <clears throat> it had gone up much higher okay and it it probably will in the future <clears throat> but we don't know I could set a trend line here I mean, I set a resistance level here but it never came up that high right 
<clears throat> but anyhow, we know that this is a strong level of support or resistance. All right. And now it's coming to a downtrend. All right. So now it has come down and hit this level. And this, once a resistance is broken, it's a support, right? And the price might bounce off of this a little bit, but if it breaks through, then we know we have a change in trend. Okay, same thing here. It hit this level and broke through and formed a downtrend and came all the way down to here. All right, so once it breaks here, we place a sell and put your take profit a little bit above this line. All right, wait for it to break again. Place a sell trade and put your take profit a little bit above. Right, wait for this to break through again and put your take profit a little bit above. And we're just going by past levels of support and resistance. Okay, all right, <clears throat> and same thing happened here, came back up broke and we put our take profit a little bit below broke again put our take profit a little bit above all right and just keep doing that pattern over and over again now when you see you can eyeball this right when you see a trend form like this a downtrend and there's a lot of downtrends okay or uptrends right there's uptrends downtrends it's just a matter of connecting the dots, all right? Connecting the points. And when you also see a solid level of support or resistance, like this right here, the price had come up down to here and bounced off of. Came down again, bounced off of. Came down almost here and bounced off. Then came down here, touched just ever so uh, close and bounced off again came down here again to the same level so it doesn't have to be perfect but we see that this right here is a pretty solid area of support and what's happening is even though we have the support we still have a downtrend and it's forming what's called a fallen wedge it kind of looks like you know this if you will all right so the price is coming down but you have a resistance okay and this price is going to drop again and touch this line and it's going to get smaller and smaller all right this little wave pattern or whatever you want to call it is going to get these candles are going to get real small inside this wedge and eventually it's going to break out okay and it's going to shoot out this way you know form a new trend uptrend all right and that's just how the forex market works all right we can see another trend here maybe um you know uh let's see maybe that's okay but you got a point here, you got a point here, all these points, right? And then finally the price breaks out, but it came back down and touched this. But instead of being, the price is bouncing off of this and coming down, this is a resistance, okay? Now it becomes a support and bounces off. Now it's not 100% it's not accurate, but you get the idea okay now this was on the first of January at the beginning of this year and there's a there was a big dip in price which wiped out a lot of people's accounts and the, I believe the market makers did this on purpose but you kind of get the idea okay that we're going to be in an uptrend now once that breaks we're going to be in a long uptrend okay and we're going to have all these levels of support and resistance along the way that you can pretty much calculate and and 
gauge everything on. All right. So based on what's going on right now in the forex market, looking at this, this four-hour chart now. What is going on with the British pound? Also, right now, we we'll kind of look at the news. Play, take that into consideration. Okay, we got Brexit going on. There's a final vote going on with Brexit. That should be resolved here in the next, you know, week or two or whatever. All right. Hopefully, pretty soon that's going to be resolved. And once all this Brexit stuff is cleared up, it is my belief that you're going to see the pound shoot up. Okay. The pound has been in a, kind of a slump the past couple of weeks because of all this nonsense going on with Brexit. And you can see this kind of evident that the price has been going down for the past month. All right. Been more or less ranging, but it's been overall it's been going down in the past few weeks. But what's going to happen is when this Brexit stuff is done, it's going to, it's going to shoot up. And how we know is because, you know, this wedge right here. All right. It's mathematically, scientifically proven. And if you look at like a weekly chart, uh, let me get rid of some of this objects or whatever. But if we get, uh, the market has been down for a while, but if we get my Excalibur trend indicator, okay, I'm gonna bring this out and kind of show you. On a weekly chart, we had this up arrow, okay? So overall, the market wants to go up, okay? And it, if we draw a trend line, like I was showing you, from here to there, watch this. We see that, oh my God, we're in an uptrend, right? So on the four hour chart, we see that right now we are in a downtrend short term but long term uptrend okay if i draw like right here okay look at this downtrend we're in and look at this uptrend all right so it's formed like a triangle if you will all right so just based on this we know that the price is going to be going up and like I said I drew a horizontal line here to show you a solid level of support all right I could oops I could draw this ah not that one leave that alone I think this yellow line and mm, I just want to draw it up a little bit. I could put up just a little bit, but basically you get the idea. All right. And this price more than likely will come down to this yellow line. Now it could come down and touch this trend line and bounce back up. And that is where I would place a buy limit pin in order. I would go here, new order, uh, and uh, actually, wait a minute. I would draw a horizontal line, like right here. That's a that's a little level of support, right? And. That's another level of support that hit here it hit there several times before. We could put a buy limit pending order right there at 1.3221 and then just leave it. Okay. And know that the price is going to come back up to this uh, trend line. Okay. When it gets to this trend line, then we can close the trade. All right, and if it if it happens to break, we place another trade, another buy trade, and we know we have a new uptrend. Okay, and we, like I said, we look at the weekly. 
we are in, in a definite uptrend and this is going to be going up for the next several months all right i can pretty much guarantee it because we had this up arrow here and it's going to be a long time before we find we finally form another red arrow it probably will go back up to this level here where this red arrow formed and that could take three or four months really before that happens so if you wanted to you could place a buy trade and keep it for the next four or five months I don't know and see what happens but you would have a lot of swap fees and that kind of thing I don't for me I like to get in and out of a trade the same day if possible okay so you know try this look at your different trends all right look at your different trends but even with this method here you're going to get in and out of the trade the same day all right on a four hour chart there's 24 hours in a day so that's four that's uh six candles on a four hour chart right so there's no reason you know when four or five candles it's not going to close all right <clears throat> hit a take profit or you're not going to be able to close the trade either way so i hope that I you know I'm making sense you learned a little bit today and you can see how trend lines and support and resistance levels and all of this correlates with my Excalibur trend indicator okay we we have this indicator now if you have the price hit a trend line and you have an Excalibur trend indicator you have a signal from my indicator that is a very 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 strong signal okay very very good time to buy or sell all right so just kind of keep that in mind as well and I just uh, I hope this uh, makes sense all right and that gives you a very very good indication also that this is not that this is a solid level of uh, support or resistance this is not going to be broken all right if you don't get a signal i would probably say this is going to be broken but who knows all right but either way whether you have an error or not you can still see the trend line and if it's broken like here there's no there's no red arrows all right but if it's broken we know we have a change in trend and the fact that we do not have any red arrows yet on any of these uh, trend line but we have a blue arrow here in the case that yes this will be going up and we will be getting a red arrow and it's gonna go back up to this level somewhere so eventually today's Friday when I'm making this video but you know start next week sometime it's gonna break out and it's gonna go up now it might take another week or so for it to finally hit a high point but it will just give it time okay so just let me know if you have any questions or comments please feel free to reach out to me on Facebook there is a link below in the description of this video for my personal Facebook you can contact me there also there is a link below for my private Facebook group if you have not joined my Facebook group please do so I ask that you do that so that way you can post any questions or comments in my Facebook group and myself or other traders can assist you okay so uh, with that said, uh, thank you and have a wonderful day.